welcome back to my channel my today's recipe is tuscan chicken which uh, originally got its name from the tuscan sea in italy a very flavorful dish so let's look into the ingredient list now my first ingredient is of course chicken and here i have around 800 grams of boneless breast chicken next i need two eggs about a cup of white flour we need to coat the chicken in this flour so you might need a little more or little less accordingly and to season the flour we need one teaspoon of cayenne pepper one teaspoon of mixed herbs half teaspoon of black pepper powder salt to taste here i am using one teaspoon and one tablespoon of garlic powder to prepare the gravy we need onions one small thickly sliced half of a capsicum thickly sliced again around six cloves of garlic finely chopped one tablespoon of tomato paste one teaspoon of mixed herbs next i have around 50 grams of baby spinach about half cup of sun dried tomato strips two cups of chicken stock one cup of milk and along with it half cup of thickened cream you can also use half and half instead and around half cup of shredded cheese to start off i have cracked my eggs and i'm going to mix it thoroughly basically we'll be preparing the tuscan chicken in two parts first we'll coat our chicken well and fry them and next we'll prepare the gravy out of it after mixing the egg well i'm going to add in the seasoning to the flour garlic powder salt black pepper powder mixed herbs and cayenne pepper you can use red chili powder or paprika also instead mix the ingredients well this basically flavors the flour and now what we are going to do is we'll immerse the chicken peas first in the egg batter coat it well and then we'll coat it in the flour mixture remove the excess flour and we'll place it in the plate now and continue with the rest of the chicken pieces in a similar manner first in the egg batter next in the flour mixture and coat it well so here are my chicken pieces all well coated and now we are going to move on to the gas stove to fry them. My pan is on heat and to it I am going to add in about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. If you want you can use butter or white oil also for this recipe. Once the oil heats up I am going to start putting in the chicken pieces to it. Don't overload your pan and cook the chicken on medium to low flame. It's been about 4 minutes now and now I'm going to turn the chicken pieces. You can see it is nice and brown. And we'll cook in a similar manner on the other side too. It's been around 8 minutes now and I have been slow cooking my chicken from medium to low heat and you can see it is well browned from both sides so I am going to remove it now. And continue with the rest of the chicken pieces now. And here are my chicken pieces all well fried and now we will move on to prepare the gravy of it or the sauce. In the same pan I am going to add in another 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Next I am going to add in the chopped garlic to it. We will cook the garlic for a minute or two till it turns slightly uh, brownish in color and it releases the aroma. It's been about 2 minutes and you can see the garlic has started turning a little brownish in color. At this point I am going to add in the chopped onion and cook them for another minute 
along with the garlic. Next, I'm going to add in the bell pepper, a quick toss, and I'll add in the chicken stock now. Give a quick mix, and I'll also add in the tomato paste at this point. Mix it well, and we'll cook this till it comes to a boil. As you can see, the sauce has come to a boil. Next, I'm going to add in the sun-dried tomatoes along with the milk and along with it, I'll add in half cup of thickened cream. Give it a good mix and we'll allow this uh, sauce to come to a boil and uh, we'll cook till it turns a little bit thick. As you can see, the sauce has come to a boil. Next, I'm going to add in the spinach leaves to it. It might look a lot at this point, but uh, spinach definitely reduces a lot once it's cooked. Mix it well. Along with it, we'll add in the seasoning, some mixed herbs and some salt, of course, according to taste and some freshly crushed pepper. We'll cook this sauce for another 2 to 3 minutes till it thickens a bit more. It's been another 2 minutes now and at this point I'm going to add in the chicken pieces to the sauce and cook it along in the sauce. After adding the chicken pieces, we are going to cook it for another three minutes and allow the chicken to soak in all the juices from the sauce. It's been another three minutes now and as you can see uh, my chicken has come to a boil and I'm going to add in the final ingredient that is the shredded cheese. You can use any kind of cheese of your preference. Today I am using a mix of mozzarella and cheddar. A final mix. After adding the cheese, I have cooked my sauce for another 2 minutes and my Tuscan chicken is ready to be served. So I am going to switch off the gas now and serve it. My Tuscan chicken is ready and today I am serving it with some Turkish bread rolls but it also goes well with any kind of pasta. My Tuscan chicken is ready. This is best served with any kind of bread or over a bowl of pasta. Do try it in your home kitchen and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So let's end this video here but don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Do share it with your friends and family. And you can follow me on my Instagram and Facebook ID too. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.